Hey guys, this is Rhetoric Gaming, and this is Devil May Cry. Can't stay away, burning alive. I cannot breathe this poison air filled with lies. I cannot see what's done to me. Living free, the sun is falling from the sky. Can't stay awake. You guys seem tight. How'd you meet? Is it relevant? I'd like to know who I'm risking life and limb with. He's my brother. He's trying to save the world. What's your story? Listen, I never asked for your help, but you gave it, and, and I appreciate it. I trust you, so trust me too. He rescued me. I was in a foster home. My foster father was a demon. He attacked me most nights. I had to get out. Nightmares. It's okay. I felt nothing. I couldn't physically escape, so... I found another way. I... aimlessly wandered limbo in spirit form. There. He heard my cry for help. So there you go, there's an interesting notion. Virgil is already aligned enough with Limbo to enter it at will as a medium, kind of like Hat is. So, well not so much enter it at will, but I'm guessing he's as strong as Cat is in the medium front. I'm gonna stick with this to the end, right? I end up sticking with you longer than the end. Just be on that. Now, if I remember properly, this is the episode where things start getting interesting with um, Dante's character design. Right now, you should actually be seeing a white streak in his hair. Done well. Um, we'll deal with the succubus. I'm pretty we'll sure it um, starts thing. around here. Anyway. Now to land the second blow. Disable Mendes' monitoring network. Raptor News Tower. Controlled by Mundus. They have a monopoly over the world's media. News, advertising, entertainment, mind control. Yeah, and surveillance. Okay, well, from that shot, I couldn't see any of the white in his hair, but um, it does start to show eventually, and I think it's somewhere around this episode where it does. Okay. The Raptor News Network is run by a demon, Bob Barbus. Bob Barbus is a demon? So he's more than just a fucking dick. <laughs> and he's in that tower. You see, because of the differences between cutscenes and cinematics, you'll see them in one but not the other. Cutscenes are, I guess you could say, cinematics but rendered within the engine with the character models. Cinematics, however, are created with CGI beforehand as set assets to be made into video segments. Therefore, you will see the white streaks within cinematics but not in cutscenes. So what do you guys think about the videos now that I've upped the quality of the, um, not only the in-game graphics, but also the, um, the editing's, um, encoding Good. options? So if, let me know, guys. I'm actually kind of interested in finding out, like, does it look nicer on your guys' ends? Do you think it's a huge improvement or not? Give me a quick comment and let me know what's going on. Because I am interested in knowing if you guys are really seeing the effects of that. Because I try and do as much as I can for you guys. Ow, shit, that would've hurt. Well, Bob, now I get why your point of view is so upside down. Hey! Alrighty then. So I came from that way. No, that's the way I'm going. Okay, let's go. I have Eric, so I can actually now use that in combat, which is good. Especially because if you saw the upgrade screen in one of the um, previous episodes, I doubt you would have, so I think I edited it out. Um, you would have actually noticed that I've got most of the skills unlocked for this one, if not all. Yay! What's going on here? 
Come on, buddy. I I know how to fight. Don't fall, jeez. I just realized that I can see you guys' spines. I've played this what, quite a few times now, and I only just noticed I can see your spines. There you've got spines that I can see. So you guys don't want me to break that one, or do you want me to break that one? I, I'm not getting what's going on. That's got to hurt. For a change, it's actually me I'm hurting that. Alrighty, come on you big baby. Ow, okay, I mistimed it. I really need to learn to dodge some of those. Sometime soon would be nice. Like that. Ow. Still got hit. Still got help back. Wow. So even Limbo has a slammer. Yep. Never thought I'd be breaking into jail. Oh, well, now's your lucky day. Save our souls. You know, I would, but like, should I? You're demons after all. Click, click, boom. I almost thought I was gonna fall there. I wonder if my dad's in here. And I mean, I don't just mean Sparta, I also mean my actual dad. He's kind of a dick like that. Gonna have to take a detour. I'll give you a detour. Just do it, dad. You're gonna get really annoyed by the sound of his voice by the end of this episode. Okay, here's the tower. Back on track. Man, I love that freaking thing. Whatever you are, get the hell out of here. 
Now these ones are easy, but the other ones, not so much. <sighs> Screaming people, yay! Poor bastards. Come on then. Alright, that's not fair. Ah, that was not the intended use. Could you not? I'm trying to do a thing. Now you're up, let's see if we can make it to sensational, eh? Ah, uh, I did a dumb thing. There we go. Been trying to do that freaking thing ever since I was using this in this little segment. All right, so whoop whoop and up. Door gets closed. It's nice to see that people are so you know courteous in this in this realm. 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 I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed with this realm. Go on, get lost. You gonna tell that one to get lost too, or? Here ah, comes Here mommy, yep. Mommy. I'm getting away from this one. Sorry. Alright, so now we can move on, but I can hear a dude. He sounds very upset. There you are. You had to be somewhere nearby. Hey, more of you guys. That's handy. I love it when the staircase stops working. Then again, I guess Bob Barbers isn't getting a lot of funding for this place. You guys love getting kicked, don't you? Alrighty, I'll fight properly. Ow. Man, here comes that sneeze from last episode. Was it this episode? One of the two. 
And just like that, I lost it actually. I don't know about you guys, but that kind of annoys me when that happens. Like, you know, you're like, oh yes, sneezing, I can finally get rid of this bloody freaking annoying feeling, and then it's just like, nope, it, I'm, not, I'm not gonna let you do that. I, I want you to feel annoyed by the feeling. That's how I roll. No relief for you. Okay, how did you block all of those? Could you not? I'm trying to do a thing. Not fun. That felt brutal, but it really wasn't. I kept getting hit. this? Nope. My finger's going off its nut, but I can't do anything about that. Beep, 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 beep. Alrighty. So where am we going from here? Where am we going? Beep. And it just closes. Nice. I'm coming for you, Bob. Apparently he knows. Ugh. Man, that is so fucking cool. Oh, great. Yeah, I wasn't expecting that to happen either. Wings, digits? What's going on there? He sounds manly. So you're gonna stick around without your friends. You really think that's a good idea, right? Eh? Oh no, your friends are gonna stick around too. Don't know why you're so against me grabbing you. I mean, like, come on, I'm pretty hot. Upstairs. Now, can you tell me how to get to that tower? Tower? Why? Because I want to kill the demon that runs this show. Will you help me? Kill it? Yes. I can help. But I'm gonna have to find if your you friend. Help me first. Let's hear it. Well, there you go, guys. That's the end of this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, again, I've noticed I wasn't very talkative in that episode, but hey, sometimes it just happens. I apologize for that. Well, you know the drill. If you enjoyed that episode, then please do like the episode to let me know. If you want to see more of this, then keep your eye on the playlist or subscribe to make it easier to yourself. If this has been Rhetoric Gaming, thank you very much for watching. Tick-tock!